ladies and gentlemen, Nesli Crowther. Good evening. We're back. Welcome to a brand new series of Stars in Their Eyes. And let me tell you, the response to the first series was astounding. Thousands of you wrote to us, and indeed thousands more, applied to take part this year. And over the next six weeks, we're going to introduce you to 25 star guests. People from all walks of life, from all over the country, who are going to amaze you. I promise you. They all share a very special talent. Each of them looks and sounds exactly like a famous singing star. None of them have sung on television before. Some of them have never even performed in public before. And all, yes, all of our star guests are once again singing live. And I tell you, that is quite remarkable. As always, five star guests take part each week. And at the end of each show, we add an element of competition when our studio audience votes to decide who will go through to take part in the grand final. I can hardly wait. So let's get straight on, meet, and give a warm welcome to our very first star guest of the new series from London, Carmel Hunter. <laughs> Carmel, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. Fresh your heart. Now then, before we go any further, have the viewers at home or you in the studio audience any idea who this young lady is going to be? Don't tell us now. Keep it to yourself and we'll let you know if you were right later. What we do know, of course, is that you have this wonderful job as a receptionist, right? Yes, I do. Come here, tell us all about it. What sort of receptionist? Um, I work for all different types of companies, insurances, solicitors, etc. Oh, I see. Meeting and greeting clients. Yeah. And a bit of clerical work. Oh, you do, you do the lot. <laughs> I do it all. <laughs> wonderful. Now then, you've been singing since you were a young child, yes? Yeah, that's right. And what was your, who was your inspiration in those My days? My mother. Your mother? Yes. I used to follow her around in the house and Did you? as she sang, I was toddling behind her and, you know. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Have you any idea who Carmel is going to be? Tell us. My <laughs> God, you've got a rare selection there. Tell them who you're going to be. Tonight, I'm going to be Tina Turner. Yeah! Until now, you've been an office receptionist, but tonight, singing live, Carmel Hunter is Tina Turner.
What's love got to do with it? That was the song sung by Carmel Hunter as Tina Turner. What a tremendous start to a new series. Now let's meet star guest number two from Northampton, Mike Nelson. <laughs> Oh, bless your heart. Now, this obviously indicates that you're something to do with show business. Tell me what you do. Well, I've been an actor for about the last 12 years, and I also sing and I compare and all uh -huh. sorts, but I do rest a lot. Oh, well, out of work. Oh, yeah, we've all done a bit of that. How many jobs have you actually held when you've been doing other jobs than being in show business? Well, I tried to work it out a little while back there, up until about 1968, 69. It's probably about 70, 75 jobs. 75 jobs? <laughs> Blimey. And, and what's the worst job you've ever done? I think, honestly, the worst job I've ever done is working in a North Northampton shoe factory yeah. on an assembly line buffing hush puppies. You were a hush puppy buffer. Absolutely. <laughs> One thing that's remained very constant in your life, of course, is your marriage. That's correct, yes. Been married how long? 27 years. Good. And children? Two girls. Oh, good. One of them following in your footsteps. Yes, but she's resting at the moment. She's resting. <laughs> well, you're not going to rest tonight, Dad, I'll tell you, because tell them who you're going to be. Tonight, I'm going to be Brian Ferry. Yeah! For years you've been a television actor, but now you're a television star because tonight, singing live, Mike Nelson is Brian Ferry. Second star guest there, television actor from Northampton, Mike Nelson. Absolutely great. Now let's say hello to our next star guest, father of four from Liverpool, Bernard Wenton. <laughs> Bernard, it's lovely to have you on the show. Lovely to be here, Leslie. You're a good man. Now, what is your expert opinion, you being a bricklayer, of this job here? Good job, bonded correctly. Is it? Oh, yeah. all the technical words. Now, being a scouser, you're obviously a football fan. That's Which right. team do you support? Liverpool, obviously. Yeah. Liverpool! Yeah. Has that ever got you into trouble? Well, on one occasion it did. A couple of uh, school friends of mine, and we, we played truant and went queuing for a ticket to Anfield. Yeah. Um, uh, the next day at school, I was called into the headmaster's study, and uh, he showed me the Liverpool Echo, and on the back page, there's a photograph of me with all my friends waving my football ticket. <laughs> <laughs> you see, your, your sins are always going to be found out, aren't you? And you've been a fan of Liverpool almost as long as you've been a fan of the guy you're going to be for us now. That's right. And who is that? 
Tonight I'm going to be Nat King Cole. Yeah! <laughs> Rick Lair, lifelong Liverpool fan. Tonight, singing live, Bernard Wenton is Nat King Cole. <laughs> Just ignore the chair that's empty in the second row This is your moment, girl Although he's not out there applauding as you steal the show Once you said his love must wait its turn You wanted fame instead I guess that you're concerned Live and learn and love is gone Ballerina gone Son, with your career You can't afford a backward glance Dance on and on and on A thousand people here Have come to see the show As round and round you go So ballerina dance Dance, dance Once you said His love must wait its turn what a fame instead I guess that you're concerned We live and learn That love has gone Valerie gone Son, with your career You can't afford a backward glance Dance on and on and on A thousand people here Have come to see the show As round and round you go So Valerie dance Dance, dance. Oh, that's amazing. Liverpool's Bernard went in there as the unforgettable Nat King Cole. Well, three superb star guests in part one. Join us after the break for two more. See you. <laughs>